everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. I get asked all the time, all the time, what is in brilliance? How does it work? Do I need it? Will it work with my machine? So I've been thinking about how I could describe in brilliance to you that is a way that does it justice and is a way that we all could probably relate to. I'm going to do my best here. Imbrilliance is a suite of software. Imbrilliance is the name of a company and they have a whole bunch of embroidery software products that they offer as part of a suite of software, if you will. And to kind of relate to that, I made this little poster for you guys. Everybody's heard of Microsoft, right? And Microsoft has what's called an office suite. And they have all of these products okay in the office suite they've got word excel powerpoint OneNote. Um, here's publisher outlook is email this is access is a database program so word is word processing excel is a spreadsheet powerpoint you can make slides and each one of these applications has its own function and they run independently of each other so you can run word without using excel you can run Outlook without using Access, but these products also integrate with each other. If you wanted to do up a spreadsheet of sales and you've got sales by region and you import this spreadsheet into PowerPoint, PowerPoint will make you some very cool little charts based on the numbers that were on the Excel spreadsheet. So they function separately, but they integrate together like the little family that they are. That's kind of like what Imbrilliance is. And I made this other cool little chart here to show you guys. Now that you've got that concept of as an entire suite of applications that function independently but integrate together. That's exactly what Imbrilliance does. So Imbrilliance has, I've kind of separated this into three little parts. And Brilliance does, I put design manipulation. Th this is all mine. I just made this yesterday in PowerPoint. Inside the design manipulation, they have essentials. Alpha Tricks works with essentials, but it will work independently. They have enthusiasts. They have the density repair kit. And each one of these does design manipulation of some sort. You get over here to Stitch Artist and Stitch Artist 1, 2, and 3. They build on one another. You can run, you can buy each one independently, but they build on each other. So you need Stitch Artist 1, and then 2, and then 3. This is for digitizing. This is for creating embroidery files from nothing. Those are very advanced for people who want to be digitizing designs, creating designs from nothing. Essentials is the basic that you would want for resizing, merging, uh, that type of thing. That's exactly what I was using the other day on those mug rugs. I have uh, Imbrilliance Enthusiast has a, a precise positioning system that I really, really like. You don't have to have Essentials to run Enthusiast, but you won't be able to resize or merge anything in Enthusiast without Essentials. So they run independently of each other, but they also integrate with each other. The density repair kit would be something like if you wanted to remove a bunch of stitches to make a design less dense and maybe put a piece of Mylar down and then have some shiny stuff show through your design. Okay, that's what the density repair kit would do. There's a lot of different features in each one of these pieces of software. And then over here on this one, we have what's called a utility. This is the Imbrilliance Thumbnailer. And what this does, it has a single purpose in life. All that happens when you install this is you come up with a single dashboard. And I'm going to show you how that works here in just a minute. What it does is it allows you to see embroidery files on your computer as if you were looking at pictures in your pictures folder. And that's it. That's the only thing that it does. It doesn't do any design manipulation at all. It is just a utility that allows you to see images of designs in folders on your computer. Every one of these products works on both Windows machines and a Mac. A lot of you have asked me if Imbrilliance will work with your machine. Imbrilliance doesn't 
install on any embroidery machine at all. It installs on your computer, or you can download it onto your computer. And then when you do a design manipulation of any type, you'll just say file, save as, and you will save it for the file type for your machine. I've had lots of people ask me, will it work on my Viking? Yes. Will it work on my FAF? Yes. Will it work on ABC? Yes. You have a list of choices of how you want that file saved as and you just have to save it in the file format for your machine. Another thing I love about Embrilliance software is that there's no dongle required. So a dongle is not required to use any of the Embrilliance. You'll never get one. You'll never get one in the mail. As soon as you put in your little license key and activate it, you're up and running. Also about the license key, you can install all Embrilliance software on multiple machines. I have a computer here at my house that I use my Embrilliance software on, and I have a computer at our house down at the coast that I also use it on using the same license key. One key works on multiple computers. If you're going from a Mac to a Windows or vice versa, same registration key. It's really nice how they have treated the consumer at the Embrilliance company to be able to use their software. So I've got links below to Embrilliance and you can jump over there and check it out and see if it's something that might be useful for you. But right now, we're going to go and use the thumbnailer. Before installing Embrilliance Thumbnailer, and here's the icon for it right here, when you look at your embroidery files on your computer in the folders, I have in my documents folder, I have a folder for embroidery. Inside of that, I have an, uh, folders for every different type of embroidery design that I might have and I kind of file them like a card catalog, all right? So this is the one for birth announcements from Designs by Juju, and this is a deer birth announcement, and I bought the elephant and the floral girl and some sailboats, so we'll look at the one for the deer. I do not have Embrilliance Thumbnailer configured properly right now in order to be able to see designs. So if you do not have Thumbnailer, this is what you're looking at. You might get words that tell you what it is, but you're not real sure what you're looking at. Regardless of the size of the icons, you cannot see the embroidery files. Thumbnailer is a utility made by Embrilliance that allows you to see images of your design files, just like the pictures on your computer. So when you double click it and open it up, it's gonna want to know if it can make changes to your device and you need to tell it yes and right here you can see all the different types of design files you can look and see if your machine is here and if your brand machine all of the different file types that they make all right so there's your genomes your faf your baby lock and brother uh, your viking the singer and then up here we have quilting files so you long armors can see all your quilting files. If you want to see SVG, FCM files, they're all in here. If you've got silhouette files there, you can see those as well. So I have a Janome. I have a baby lock. I use PES. I want to see my SVG files, my FCM files, and my QLI files for my long arm. And that's it. You can select all, you can select none, and I'm just gonna go back and mark the ones that I need to be able to do my embroidery. The .be files are checked by default if you use them. You can check for updates, reset links, and I'm just going to tell it OK. And I think you saw the icons kind of moving around while I was doing that. So now let's go back into that folder. Look at that. There they are. And now I can see the birth announcement templates. Let me go back to my embroidery. 
let me look at uh, Millie Scott designs for edge to edge and there they are now I can see them so that's it this is so simple to use it has a single screen it does one thing and one thing only and it's very very simple to use so I hope this video was helpful if you like it please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more tutorials on Brilliance, please subscribe and hit that little bell so that you know when I put them out and you can go see them right away. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Go sew something.